What up guys, it's me Jules here with my son Ewan back on the comics channel for a fresh 2018 and that can mean only one thing, jingle time. Time to hit that jingle! Looks like there's news a brewing, guess it's time for Jules and Ewan. Yes mate! And we're back, yes that's right, and we have some fresh comic news for you, Ewan hit him with the facts. Yeah, it's kind of a new speculatory amalgamation of things right now mm. because um, we're a little bit late to this one but Doomsday Clock issue 2 came out the other week, last week, January 8th. Yep. Um, losing track of time here. <laughs> like Dr. Manhattan, so hey. it all works out in the end. But yeah, so basically in that issue, I don't think yep. you've, you've read it yet. Nope, but, I've, um, only, I've only read issue 1. I'm going to spoil it all for you right now. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so basically we find out that they, they basically, from the end of the first issue, you mm -hmm. know that they go, they set across to go into Earth to find Dr. Yep. Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. That happens, they go into Earth. And already? Well, no, they don't. They don't know him yet. They've oh, gone right, to okay. Earth already. Okay. Um, everything the other world gets nuked. So, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, desperate times at the moment. Jeez. And the reason they brought along the mine people is because mm -hmm. they, they they draw him back to a moment in Doctor Manhattan's life where he was super heroic and he didn't kill anyone. And basically, that's oh. their attempt to like draw that connection to get him back. Because obviously, like um, Doctor Manhattan's completely despondent to yes. humanity, and they're basically asking him now to what just rewrite things as it were, or rebuild the yeah, world basically. as it was, and they're just trying to trigger his humanity mm -hmm. with that. I mean, a bit of a dangerous game trying to show them somebody who is like, oh, by the way, this you didn't kill yeah. uh, this guy, but he is an absolute murderous yeah, psychopath. Yeah, exactly, and they, they draw upon that, like, they're, they're despicable people. Mm. Um, but then they go back to the DC universe, and it turns out that everyone's kind of growing opposition towards Batman. There's a, there are protests in the streets, people are rallying against the symbol. Okay. Batman notes it down to being Russian interference, going back to the contemporary political allegories yep. that Johns yep. is doing. And then, there's an interesting conversation that Rorschach has, well, the new Rorschach has, mm. with um, Fight, where he basically did discover that Dr. Manhattan could be anyone in the DC universe. He could be oh. the person who created these superheroes, to mention that specifically, or he could even be a hero himself. What, just in disguise? Just or, in disguise. Or not even aware? Or not even he's... aware that he's a hero, so that's Mental. really interesting. There are a number of theories you could go with this. One that he is a hero, mm -hmm. which would be really interesting. There are a few options I'm going to put to you okay. if you think they're good. Um, or he could just be, you know, roaming around in the DC universe. We've seen in past comics that he's just blue. So okay. he could just be going in and out of different forms. Fair enough. But if he were to be a hero, I think Captain Atom might be a good shout because it makes sense because obviously he's he was got a based, similar power. Well, set and to again, him. the um, Captain Atom was the original because when what Alan Moore first created Watchmen, he wanted to use Charlton Comics characters. Too. Right. Okay. So the question was going to be Rorschach, um, and then Captain Atom was going to be Doctor Manhattan. That makes sense as well. A yeah. Nice little callback to yeah, his so origins. It could in that be way that. As well. There That'd is also cool. a few other options. So yeah. It could be Superman because you know Superman is like you know he's the biggest boy yeah. around. It could mm. be him. Mm. There's also Martian Manhunter, and Martian okay. Manhunter. Lives on Mars, but but would but would would Doctor Manhattan mm -hmm. choose a physical like body that is so outlandish? Mm. I mean, even if he is trying to pre to pretend, he's done a very good job of caring if yeah. he's any of these people that you've mentioned. You'd want somebody that is completely like emotionless. I mean, what if he's a bad guy mm. and he doesn't even like realize that what he's doing is bad? I guess the alternate thing there is that in the first issue they talk about how full of hope this other universe is, mm. and like mm. he could talk about how. Maybe he's found a reason to be compassionate again okay. in the universe as a different hero. I don't know. At the end of the day, he could just be Dr. Manhattan. He could just be hiding on Mars mm -hmm. somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, as has been the case. But then there's also people who think he might be responsible for the creation of the DC universe. I mean, that would be cool yeah, if they could use really that to write into like, a superhero born out of something else, created mm. everything that we know now mm. as part of DC. That'd be pretty cool. Mm. It's exciting times, actually. I mean. Apart from those three, have you got any other guesses as to who honestly, might be? Don't, obviously it could be yeah, anyone. It could, it could be anyone. There was loads of twists that came out on that issue. Mm. The comedian is back. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, um, he basically comes up and shoots Lex Luthor and stuff. And Is he still the same kind of rapey kind we of We don't know yet, dude. but he looks... Oh, he's still horrible, obviously. Right, okay. The comedian is horrible. But like, it's it's really interesting because okay. they set out to go and find the two smartest people in the DC universe, Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor. Right, okay. Obviously, they both had their own motives. And he just walks yeah. up and just kills him. Yeah, yeah, so... Really interesting, do say I'm really enjoying it. The third issue is at the out at the end of the month. I mean, to so. be fair, if you, if anything's going to get you interested in a comic series, it's going to be big questions like this mm. and killing off sort of staple characters in really unexpected ways. I mean, that's very much ty atypical of Moore's writing, though, isn't it? Just like it takes whatever you were expecting mm. and it's going to subvert it. Yeah, so I guess John's exciting. playing part homage and yeah, part doing his yeah. own thing as well, which is is really good because you could look at the series as being so cynical. But yeah, that's. That's really Brilliant. all the theorising we have right now. That's pretty cool. Well, let us know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. And if you've got any ideas as to who Dr. Manhattan can be, let us know. Be interested to hear it, wouldn't we? As always, I've been Jules. This has been my son, Ewan. Subscribe to What Culture, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.